oh, is it ever draft season as folks are now saying Arizona's backing off Kyler Murray as the number one overall pick. And we're going to talk about it. And all that's coming up after the bumper. What do you mean oh. you don't subscribe to my son's YouTube channel? Mama, no! Just snap the damn ball, RJ. What's up, kid folk? It's RJ Young. I am not on a step. No, consider hitting the like and subscribe button because I upload a video every single day. So it's OU related, college football related, sports related. We have a good time. And today, we're going to talk about why some folks are saying the Arizona Cardinals are backing off of Kyler Murray as the number one overall pick. Now, this report comes from Pete Prisco who went on CBS Sports HQ to say, hey, it's got back to me that Kyler Murray is not going to be the guy for Arizona when the draft begins later this week. He's basing this on the idea that it was ownership who wanted to draft Kyler Murray in the first place because he saw what had happened with the Cleveland Browns. They took the undersized quarterback with dynamic athleticism and precision passing and oh my goodness, everybody bought tickets. Everybody was watching the Cleveland Browns. You have Browns mania. And now all of a sudden you're talking about a team that was not just a cellar dweller, but the laughingstock of not just football, but pro sports is a darling to make it to the Super Bowl next year with this awesome array of offensive weapons that includes OBJ, that be Odell Beckham Jr. to the old heads, of course, Jarvis Landry, Nick Chubb. We can keep going on with Miles Garrett, and they feel like they're just going to keep getting better in a division that might see a changing of the guard this year with them and Pittsburgh. But look, I understand the thinking behind not wanting to take Kyler Murray number one overall. You know you have needs defensively, and you know you drafted a quarterback last year, and the needs defensively are always going to be the thing that you should pay attention to most. Nick Bosa is on the board. There's some people that think that Nick Bosa is the best player in the draft. I don't think that's true. I think that guy is, that guy is Quinnen Williams. Quinnen Williams, for my money, is the best prospect in the draft to build around. I love that guy's speed. I love his get off. I love that he's running a 4'8 at 303 pounds. And I watched him destroy Oklahoma's offensive line in the Orange Bowl, which, by the way, was the best offensive line in all of college football. Now, that aside, you took Cliff Kingsbury as your head coach. You're kind of married to the air raid system or some variation of it. Josh Rosen did not run that coming out of high school. And while it's clear that he didn't run it at UCLA either, he's a smart guy. You would think that if any rookie could pick up that system outside of, well, Baker Mayfield played in that system, so it would really just be Josh Rosen who I would bet on on that group of rookie quarterbacks that was drafted in, in 2018. But if you can move Josh Rosen and you feel comfortable with Kyler Murray, go get Kyler Murray. But I don't think that they feel comfortable with Kyler Murray at Arizona. Not in the way that you would want them to because the guy does have a baseball background and because of the way that he and his family have moved and shaked since the season ended on their decision to play football over baseball. Now, it came out in a Robert Klemko story for the Monday Morning Quarterback Sports Illustrated, which is very good, you should give it a read, that the A's were not only prepared to give the man a bonus of $14 million on top of what he was already getting paid, which would have put him in line with Roquan Smith and his draft stock last year. I think number 18 overall, about $18 million. It would have been about $20 million, or eight, excuse me, about to $18 million for Kyler Murray. So it would have been paid first-round draft pick money at the NFL level too and put on the 40-man roster, and that's a big, big key here. Nobody gets a contract like that coming out of college to play baseball you go through a ball single a ball you go through double a ball you go through triple a ball you get all the way to the major leagues usually takes a few years and then even then you're about six years away from the actual money in the way that we might think about it in the nfl or in the nba so you have that thinking and you also know that kevin murray missy murray and kyler murray have kept all of this to themselves they've wanted to shape their narrative and they should but if you thought for just a single second that Kyler Murray might bail on you if things don't go well this season and the next 
and the next to go play baseball, maybe you don't want to spend your first round draft pick, especially at number one overall, on him. So it's on Kyler Murray to continue to do what he's been doing, which is try to convince people that he's in this to play football, that he loves football, that he is a quarterback through and through. And even the flirtation with baseball, where he was saying it and then didn't say it, and then he waited till spring training to finally pull the plug, and the way that that Dan Patrick interview went down. Another tidbit out of the Klimko story that I love is that Kyler Murray and his people hired WME to be his talent marketing agency, which one of their jobs is to prepare that man for interviews like the Dan Patrick show. And to his thinking, not mine, but to Kyler Murray's thinking, Kevin Murray's thinking, they bombed that interview because all of that preparation was not there. And whether you want to blame WME for that or Kyler Murray for that, it wasn't necessarily a good look for people that haven't seen or watched a lot of Kyler Murray. I still think Kyler Murray should be their number one overall pick for all the reasons that I've listed, but I can understand why you might want a guy to have owned that interview in a way that, say, Baker Mayfield would have owned that interview. But hey, everybody ain't Baker Mayfield. And while I think Kyler Murray is the better quarterback, I also understand why people might think that Baker Mayfield is the better leader. I think this is more smoke than fire, and I think Arizona's trying to keep the rest of the league on its heels come draft night because you know that the Oakland Raiders sent home their entire scouts, their their whole group of scouts, and it's just going to be Mike Mayock and John Gruden pulling the triggers because everything's fine over there, apparently. And you could really mess up things for the 49ers in their draft situation because if you take Nick Bosa, they have to rethink their entire thinking about what they're going to do because they got a quarterback. They got Jimmy Garoppolo. And I think that is good for you if you're Arizona. Keep everybody thinking. Have them have their contingencies in place. And I understand Prisco, he's got a bit. And somebody fed it to him, and it's good, and it's probably true today. I don't think it's going to be true come draft night. I think that Kyler Murray is still going to be the number one overall pick for the Arizona Cardinals, and they're going to build around him, and we're going to get to see what that looks like with him and Josh Rosen, even with all the stuff going on around Josh Rosen where they – took him out of the promo video. It felt like he scrubbed his Twitter account of Arizona Cardinals photos. And if I was him, I would be demanding a trade, but I'm not him. And so I get to sit here and watch it and talk about it. And it's been so much fun. Can't wait to see what happens on draft night. All right, that's it for me. Deuces.